So good morning everyone. Um, this morning we're fishing a really special place. Fishing with Roldu. There's Roldu there at the back. And um, Roldu invited me to fish this area with him. It's a really special place. So um, once again I want to ask you guys if you recognize some of the spots please don't comment in the comment section where it is. It is private um, access so not everyone can fish this area. You know there's certain areas that we like to conserve and protect and this is said to be one, one of the areas. Got a really flat sea today. Um, Roldo took me on some um, rock hopping and rock climbing. Um, went through some pools and through the water to get to the spot. But um, today we're going to target some red Roman, Talion, maybe a mussel cracker, and um, anything in between that we might catch. Something like a yellow belly. Be really lucky, a big pinsy or a pinsy. But um, yeah, it's just a beautiful place with great scenery. And, uh, yeah, it just looks lacquer. So yeah, let's get a bait in. All this tackling tech up there. And um, I'm super keen to get a bait in the water. Right. The area that we're fishing here at the moment looks so good. There's too many options. Um, you can throw for a galunia, you can throw for a cracker. Um, fish for a yellow belly or a red diamond. Um, yeah, it's difficult to decide what to do, but I think I'm just going to throw a chocker bait. A little bit of foam. Um, uh, I think it all is throwing a hockey leg there. Um, let's see what species we can catch. And, uh, it looks quite foul at the back. Uh, Roldo, have you fished the spot here for red Romans or anything here before? Not before, only Galeun, but I'm sure there's been an isolated area the Romans and the Punties might show their face today. Yeah, I think so too. It's, um, you know, not a lot of people come here and not a lot of people fish it. Um, there must be some Red Romans at least here, but we're doing a little bit of an exploring trip today. Um, Roldo has fished here quite a, quite a lot. So they mostly fished for Galeun, eh, Yeah, mostly Galeun. Mostly for Galeun, but have they seen some really nice spots or reef species like a, a punsi or a red roma and yellow bellies, all sorts of things. So, so that's the idea today is to explore these spots and to try and catch them obviously. But Aldo has his tag here today, so we're gonna see if we can't tag a couple of these fish as well. It's always interesting to see when those fish are recaptured, how much they've grown, where they've moved and um, yeah, what they've been up to. And, uh, I'm almost done with my bait. I'm going to try a bait with a little bit of tentacles movement. And I prefer to use circle hooks. But as we don't know exactly what we're going to target here, I'm going to throw a J hook. And Roldo is going to throw, he's going to throw a circle hook. We're just going to see what's, what's happening. But the bait is real simple. Pull it as on. Real bait is real simple. Almost like a cold bait that I'm using. And uh, hopefully sharks will stay away. Cat sharks and all sorts of things. Like to test you when you fish with fish like this. And yeah, real simple bait. This morning. There we go. It's quick.
Like skirts do on the high quality. Yeah, long way to go. There you go, roll it on, first try. The skidoss is edible now. Cat eye. Uh, cat shark. Hold that up. Ik ga niet op mijn hoofd aan niet. Dat zie je maar. Dat zie je wel. Een striped catshark. Die altijd bij je als je deze reef species target hebt. Hier gaan we. <laughs> Ruff. Denk je ik het ruf? Ja, ik heb het ruf. Ah, toch. Striped cat shark. It's normal to catch these when you're fishing on a reef for reef species. And then at least when you catch them, you know you're eating some reef and some good reef because the same reef and structure that these things are is where you'll catch the punsi, yellow belly, red roman, and that, those sorts of things. But it's going to take us some while to figure out what's going on here. Ik weet niet of het er wel is, maar het is een hoog gevoel of het kon niet in de wees. Het lijkt onder, het kan ook een roman wees. Play deep. Roman, yeah. That's the Marty. Yo! Oh, boy fast! Oh. 
Ja, ik wil oorspring naar die klippie toe, maar ek sien die grafies daar zo. Ek denk, as ek oorspring naar hom is dit die ene. Hey guys, we got a lekker size room in here. En ja, like I said, we're just exploring the area. And when we got here, we just, we're going to be fish in the pool while we, while I talk to you guys. Um, just have a good look at it. Let's get like a zoom in. Okay, that's a real perspective one. Up, up there. <laughs> 20 kilos. Okay, just want to put it in the pool while we talk to you, while I talk to you guys. Um, so what we did is, um, we got here, we didn't exactly know, knew where to throw, we just put a bait on and just chucked it out. And after fishing here for a little while, we could see the bombies and pinnacles and where the water is working. So Roldo and I, we started to throw a little bit around these little bombies. And uh, yeah, first had a couple of shots in the bombie, to the right of the bombie. And then finally, on the left-hand side of the bombie, I got this red moment. So we're going to concentrate a little bit in that area, and um, hopefully we can catch one or two more fish. Right, okay. Okay, guys, not my proudest moment, but this fish wasn't hooked too great, so I don't think we're going to tag him. We're just going to leave him in this pool, and then see how it recovers before we we put him back. So hopefully, it revives in this pool. Um, it didn't bleed a lot, but a Roman is a thing that dies quite easily. So, you don't want this fish to die, but there's a nice big pool that he can swim around. And then, if he, if he recovers and revives, we'll put him back. But he doesn't look, look too well at this stage. And then when, you wanna, when you tag a fish, you want that fish to be good and strong and healthy. Um, this fish was only out of the water for a couple of seconds while I showed it to you guys. But, um, yeah, let's hope you guys. Come on. Oh, there we go, there we go. Well, what you got there? Cape Stumpy. <laughs> Pina Galleon. Yeah, small little one. Yeah, Put okay. back. Yeah, while I was busy there. Reviving my Red Roman. Um, rolled it through for Galeon and he got that stumpy. Uh, this Red Roman needs to swim now. It's giving signs that it wants to go. Come on, there we go, there we go. Okay, go, 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 go. There we go. I'm just busy tying on a circular gear for my next throw. Because I hooked that fish a little bit bad, I don't want to risk um, hooking more fish badly. Maybe hook one in the gill plates and it doesn't want to go back at all. Um, so that's why I'm rather going to go for a circle hook at this time. Um, to make sure we don't hook that fish bad. So I think the circle hook, circle hook is the right answer for, for what we're doing here. Add a little bit of float, there's some buoyancy, just to keep you out of the out of the structure so they don't get stuck all the time. So a little float at the bottom there. Acts as a dangle. You can do the same bait as you did with the first row, just on the circular. Shark.
Got the uh, zip cleaning in your work. One thing I can tell you guys is the cat sharks in this place is not small at all. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a size for the species. Anyway, just need to persist. And hopefully we'll catch something that scales. Let's see then. Circle look, got him in the corner. So I just switched over to a circle look. Open your mouth, bro. Open your mouth and put it with your back. Circle look out. Get him back. I proper, must be a Galil. Galil, Rolly? Yeah, I like it. I took it yet, so I like it. So, Philip, there, the wood. Great calls there. Just for a monster call. <laughs> Check out that black tail. Oh, at least we're accumulating species there. That's a fourth species. German, it's a senior citizen. <laughs> what a beauty. Here you go. Guys, that fish right there. Must be like 30 years old. Very slow growing. Um, oh, what a size there. Yes, my heart. Check, I've stolen some of the house. Okay, I lost something there. But um, we're gonna move to the next reef. See what's happening there. But I think before we move, I need to take off this jacket because it is warm now in this thing. I'm baking. By the way, when you're talking about the jacket, get yourself some merchandise. Stillfishing.com or um, just click in the link down in the description. Well, before we move, we're just going to check on our Red Roman and he is perfect. We're going to release that thing right now. Look at him. Hopefully you can hear me, but uh, this water was submerged. Okay. This camera was submerged in the in the water. Let's see if you just take your time and revive the fish, put them in the pool. Um, you have no excuse not to release your fish. Obviously, when you want to keep them, it's a different story. But um, look at this red roman, good and strong, and he goes. He is going back. stuff here on my back including my drone so I need to be extra oh shit extra careful going through yeah okay and I'll talk to you guys once we're on the rock all this way ahead of me there there he is still need to get to still need to get all the way there all right let's go
<laughs> Look at this mess. Way too much stuff with me. Everything was full of water. A bag. Need to clean it out. And a beautiful spot though. All this going already. Lying in that little hole there. It must be a Khalyun. It's beautiful. And you can fish over the back there for a red Roman. It's a really good looking spot for a cracker. We're gonna fish right next to that rock there. Deep gully running through. And um, yeah, really foul. We need to get that cracker around. Try and land it somewhere here. Yeah, not gonna be an easy task if you hook it. But right there, looks really good. Look at that water working around that um, island there. Really nice. Well, this spot looks just too good for a cracker, so I'm gonna throw one. Another red crab. He's already lost one or two of his legs. He's gonna put him on a circle hook. I'm using a 7 0 owner. Wait, it's coming over. 7 0 owner circle. It's gonna go through. Look, it's nice and proud. Exactly like you'll do with a white crab, a sand crab for a steeny. Push the hook in. And we just tie it on. Get those legs nice and tight. And work your way up your trace. How uncomfortable, yeah. Keep it as natural as possible and uh, see if you can't get a cracker. There has to be a cracker here. Looks too moist. Just get a moist drink, What? I like. Ja. Hij is de trek toch ik ga mijn vloer. Hij drukt mij zo en hij ligt mij zo. Ja, dat is trouwens Kan ik het gewoon? Hoe kom? Is so nodig, huh? Wat je wat ik het zeg? droog? Nee, niet zo nat zit jij niet, maar. Ik is niet droog. Ja, dat is het. Je zegt bij je plekken maak natter zoals er die water leeg wordt. Ja, je ziet nou, je weet al iets over dan weet je. Klap hij hard op die klap, ja. Tafel is ook lief om dit te doen. Op die zakwater, dan maak je het Dan maak je het jou nat hoor Dan is jy een andere kop goed aan Ja Wist jy, wat is die koutie? Die dank je buiten Ja, as daar nou een wintersdag wat dit moet gebeur, is dit nou die dag Ja. Ja, is er. Ali lopi, is Ali lopi. Ja, hier is het nog. Ik denk dat het niet zo is. Zo, kou. Nog steeds hier die gaan jullie. Ik denk echt nog een tijd. Total 38.5 Fuck. Okay. Cool. Oh, I'm going to get over. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Thank you, Jared.
Ja, ik zit vast. <laughs> cold dust and cold dust and cold dust. Heb je scheringstijd gezien? Ja, tenminste. Tenminste is die zien hier niet mooi. Ja, yes. Er zijn meer woordspots in de Ga je die krapie en gooi? Kijk, guys, het was een interesting day today. One or two minor injuries, uh, tackle bag, <laughs> washed away basically, full of um, water when we waded through onto the rocks. That's why I didn't film too much today because I ran out of batteries, my batteries, everything got wet, just the stuff up. But um, yeah, a tough day, really tough day, but um, what a place, look at that, to, to have a tough day. <laughs> Not a tough day in Africa, how old older? Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, it's simply amazing this place. It's, it's really beautiful. We just did it unfortunately on a day where the fish are not hungry. Just one of those days where they just don't want to eat. Uh, it's really quiet. We fish beautiful places, beautiful formation. And um, I think there's some, you know, there's a huge potential here for some amazing fishing. Now, but Aldo has caught some really big halloon and crackers and all sorts of things here. But, um, I want to do a little bit more exploring here for the reef species as well. So yeah, um, Rolde, thanks for the day. Thank That's you, awesome. thank you, Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Really enjoyed it. It was a lucky day. And, Until uh, next time. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in next week's video. Thanks for watching. And um, if you want to see more of Zulu fishing, hit that subscribe button. Turn off the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And cheers.